Hey everybody, it's Hypernex back with part 13 of Let's Play A Link to the Past. Last time we left off, uh, we finished off Dungeon 4 and we found this little frog guy. So, let's uh, take him to where he belongs. And, once we get here, and you. No, don't open the map. <laughs> you. Go back to the light world with him. And he turns into a human. And let's bring him to his fellow d dwarf members. I'm not sure. Oh, happy days are here. You found my partner. We're very happy to have now. Drop by here again, and that time we will temper your sword perfectly. And this begins the. Oh, I have to leave and come back. This is the first upgrade to your sword you can get. Welcome. Temper my sword. Sword tempered. Ten rupees? Damn. Sounds good. Yes. We'll have to keep my sword. Ah! Uh, I don't have a sword. Does that mean I can punch things? Punch, punch. Well, pretty sure all we have to do is go into somewhere else, come back. And our sword should be done. But let's see if I can punch a cuckoo. Can't punch the cuckoo? Why can't you punch it? That's stupid. You should be able to punch things. Oh, we're not done yet. <laughs> I like how I can Pegasus boots. And I hold my sword, my invisible sword. Alright, so basically we just gotta mess around until... Uh, uh oh. Ah. Boomerang, bro. Huh. Punch you. Damn, I can't punch him. Okay, is my sword done yet? Uh. No. Beside the key, because the key is locked inside this chest, you can never open it. Just take it with you. Oh. Well. You can't enter with something following you. How do I get it to go away? Uh, I don't remember what to do with this chest. Oh, oh. Apparently, it's stuck. Well, let's see what's in here now. Damn, done with my sword. My sword is tempered! Yeah! Now my sword is stronger, you feel a sheer power flowing through my body. Yep, and now we get a red, a cool red sword. And, with that, we have to head back to the dark world. Because it is time to do dungeon number three. And we gotta go to Skull Woods up north, where the Lost Woods originally is. And now I can one shot those guys, Moblins. And sadly, its Dark World counterpart is not nearly as good as first, or the original overworld, uh, what's it called, what's the song? Oh, and these are Wallmasters, and these are Gibdos having a party. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those Wallmasters. If you ever played Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask, you would know. Ow. Go away, Wallmaster. Yeah, and I took an alternate entrance. Because I remembered. Come on. And unlike in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, if you kill the one on the floor, they don't, you know, leave. Oh, he died.
And we get the map. That was pretty safe and easy. Come on. Come here, buddy. No, oh, can't get over there. Oh. Yeah, we can't do anything right here. Even though that's one of the entrances to this place. Let's go down this hole. Yeah, there's a the gimmick with this one is you have to fall down in certain spots. But it's not that bad. Ooh, that was close. Nothing but a heart. Okay, thanks. Game. Those guys take four hits. Uh, oh look, we're gonna be back at Max Rupee soon. Yay, the compass. And what do they think this would do? Stop us? <laughs> a trap. Ooh. And I believe if you... Can you not light these guys on fire with this thing? No, okay. That's in a different game. Oh, I killed him before he landed. Pretty pro. Come on. Give me my... Man, these guys are relentless. Yeah. Let's go here, and we're just back here. Well, with that, we should leave. This is nothing you really can do. Oh. And I'm pretty sure that this hole is just to get to the chest. No? Ow. Okay. So we're not dead. Yet. Oh yeah. Oh. Bumble wall. Oh, this is the other side of that one place. Um And we trapped that bubble thing, so it kinda just is doing its own thing. And pretty sure. Yeah, nothing. So let's just go this way. Uh oh. Yep, you can kind of walk along the edge. That took that when I was younger took me a long time to figure out. Oh look, the freaking chest. Too bad I can't open it. All right, so I guess with that, we gotta go back to the out inside. No, oh, wrong way. Back outside. Ow. Yeah, we have a lot of rupees. So... Think that... The next episode will be a collection type episode where we get a bunch of heart pieces and upgrade what's it called the uh all of our at least our money and not our money our uh bombs and stuff what's the one hey Where's the one? So there is this you can push. 
Oh. Huh. Uh-oh. I guess... Never mind, we can't do anything there. Oh! Pfft. I'm stupid. I know what to do. And I'm pretty sure all wall masters do in this game is take you to dungeon entrance. I like how I'm not moving at all during that. No! Oh, what? Like teleported right to his hand. Oh. Oh, and he respawns all the enemies. Okay. Well, at least we're stronger now. <sighs> that was quite annoying. Fall down, thank you. Ugh. Come on. And this is how. Ow. Douche. And. Oh no! We get the big key. Well, haha. -ha. Like that. Let's blow up the wall. The point of this room is what? Nothing. Okay. All right, and thanks, game, for telling me that I did something like two times in a row. And we fall down. Kill this guy for money, even though we're full on money. And go here. Come here. Damn mold worm. And we get the fire rod. This rod commands red fire. Watch your magic meter. Yep. And that is the item for this place. Wait, right, no, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, and if it's not attached to anything, it kind of gets stuck. Also, the fire rod kind of kills Gibdos really easy. Did I go... I did, but... Oh, it died. I think... Okay. Before we take on the boss, we should probably refill on, well, good old magic, or not magic, fairies. Because I'm pretty damn bad at this game. I didn't watch, I probably can't even find a fairy. I'm pretty sure. The, the hell's the nearest fairy? Oh, wait. Why don't I just go to the light world and teleport to one? You know. So that's what normal people would do.
See, because we got my house. Oh, wait. That's a great fairy fountain. Yeah, this is a great fairy fountain. Not what I need, but I'll, I guess, take it. Oh, wait. I know where one is. There's... No, no. Here. Whee! There's one, actually, right here. Aha! Not so far now. Alright, and no, oh, switch back to Ark or Arena, or Flute, whatever you want to call it. Ay, douche. No, no, I'm full on health. <laughs> Head back up to where we were. Oop, full health. Wait, no, we were over here. Oh, uh, trusty boomerang. Boomerang, I love in this game. It's actually useful compared to when when compared to a lot of the other games. And like the only other game with the boomerang is Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Wind Waker's boomerang kind of sucked because it locked on. But then again, that game's just that game. Okay, so we gotta go in a different entrance to actually get to where we need to go, but... Actually, if I'm not mistaken... Ow, hitting me. Can't wait until we get the tunic upgrade. But that dungeon, I don't think anybody likes. Okay, we never went to the left, so let's actually do it. Get out of here, wall master. Or, floor. Yeah, it's a wall master, not a floor master. Oh, look, a key. Now, how do we get over there? Well, like I said, this place has like 30 billion different entrances. And this is why you need the fire rod to now open up the final entrance in this area. Well, let's kill this guy first. Grab the money that we don't need. Yep, we can't actually get over there, even though we probably, actually, we probably do need that chest. But we got a key for up here. Come on. Ah. Oh, okay. Thanks. Game. Did that? Well, oh. there we go. And to show you the power of the fire rod, it one shots Gibdos. Get out of here. Using my fire rod. Damn. God dang it. 
Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm a bunny. Oh, good thing I got rid of the annoying enemies. Probably got up. Okay, which one is it? It is the middle. Oh, the Gibdo dropped the key. Cool. Ow. Oh. And if we look here. Quick little, yeah, fall down here, and oh, that was fast. Yeah, the fire rod kind of wrecks that guy. What? How does a heart container not completely fill your health? Kind of dumb. But with that, we get the fourth, but third crystal. Releasing this maiden. Link, because of you, an escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Do you know the prophecy of the great cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. If a person who has an evil heart gets to try for us a hero, it's destined to appear. How many times do we got to hear this? And he alone must face the great person who began the great cataclysm. The evil one destroys the hero, nothing could save this world from the wicked rain. Well, this is a video game, and there's gotta be a winner, so yeah. Only a person of the Knights of High Rule who protected the royalty of Hylia can become the hero. You are their bloodline, aren't you? And you must rescue Zelda without fail. Do you understand? Uh yeah. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. And with that. We finished Dungeon 3. Where is Dungeon 4? Oh, Dungeon 4 is done. Okay. So. I. Dang it. Oh, that was lucky. So. Let's just meet up at the house. And. That's all the time I have for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you guys next time. Let's play A Link to the Past. Later.